right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. I'm super excited about it. Uh, I got the Duramax blocking here right now, so we're gonna go ahead and unveil it right now. All right, so the moment that we've all been waiting for, this is the brand new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. Hot off the truck, guys. It still has the wrapping on it. And to keep the content a little bit related, guys, this is Mike Love right here. He is a salesman here at Young Chevrolet in Owasso. Go ahead and check him out on Facebook as well as Instagram. I'll leave his links in the description. What's really cool about Mike here is uh, we really hit it off because you guys all know that I am a Duramax guy right here, and he actually owns a LB7 GMC Duramax. This thing is beautiful. I love what he's done to it, and hopefully we can get his truck on the channel a little bit more. By the way, huge shout out to Young Chevrolet for allowing me to do the review on the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and explain to you, we're gonna start off on the outside of the truck first. We're gonna talk about the outward appearance, you know, some of the subtle differences from the 2018 to the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado. So this is the 2019 redesigned brand new Chevy Silverado. This is the RST package. A couple of things that I really like about it. You got LED lighting, for both your fog lights, your turn signals, and your tail lights new headlights they've done a lot with aerodynamics in this truck so you talked about the aerodynamics because i know that this is a completely different front end and it looks like we got these fins does that even do anything there so yeah after spending about 500 hours in the wind tunnel they uh they've redesigned this this is actually an air diverter to bring some of the dirty air out of the front wheelhouse again improving that fuel economy a couple other things they've done for aerodynamic wise a little wing on the back of the cab here helps divert that air off the same with the tailgate because I, I noticed mike that this tailgate design is a lot different from the the uh i guess the older body styles so the 2018s so it, what are the features going on with this thing right here so some of the stuff you got going on new with uh, the new tailgate of course we, we went to the air the air diffuser here but also both your uh, backup cameras and then now it is push button wow and power release you now have uh, the chevy spray and bed liner this now has nine total tie downs in the back of the truck here. Okay. And then places for accessory tie downs if you want to add another. Yeah, and it actually looks like the box is wider than a, you know, like a six and a half foot. Is this even a, you even know this is a six and a half foot? This is a, this is a six foot six box, but this has 92 feet of, cubic feet of uh, payload, which is larger than most other trucks in the market. Um, part of that is because it is taller. It's also because they've made the, the walls of the box thinner. A couple other things that I thought were kind of nice. You know, it's LED lighting in the box here. And a 110 outlet. Look at that. Wow. There's a quarter step bumper to allow bigger feet like mine or a steel toe boot. And they kept the corner hole here so you can step up in the box. Well, one thing I do really like is the fact that they kept the integrity of the bumper. I'm glad they didn't go away with that because that was a huge selling point when these when that whole thing right there came out. So I think that's really cool. And then it looks like, now this package right here comes with the 18 inch rims. Yeah, so the RST gets you the 18 inch wheels um, and then the, the kind of de-chromed look of the, of the truck. Right. So guys, what's really great about this truck right here is this is the very first one that hit and actually let's go ahead and check the door here. Let's see where this thing was built. So this right here was assembled at Fort Wayne, right here, Indiana. And what's really cool about this truck right here, guys, is it still has the wrapping paper on it. So not only am I doing a re review on this 2019, but guys, this is more of an unboxing right here of the, of the 2019 Silverado. So I'm really pumped about this. I don't really think, I, there may be one or two videos right now, but if you're watching this today, guys, I'm probably the first one to actually do the review on this 2019. So this is a, this is huge right here. This is this is big. Uh, it's almost like Christmas, right, Mike? That's right. It's Christmas and not Santa Claus. That's right. <laughs> so nice. one of the one of the new features for 2019 is keyless access. So if you have a key fob, you're within three feet of the vehicle. You can just press the button on the door here. That'll unlock the door. There's also push button start. So let me demonstrate that for you. So basically, now this has obviously been around, uh, but for you guys that don't really know much about it, you know, you have the key in the vehicle, and basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your foot on the brake and just start it like that. And then when you wanna turn it off, you just hit the button off, that's it. That's, it's basically the same. All right, so now let's talk about this interior. 
So since we're uh, we're unwrapping this guy, let's make it so you can see it. Okay, so yep, completely redesigned front uh, interior for the vehicle. A um, couple things that they added. Uh, now you have the USB-C and the standard USB in the front here. 12 volt, 120 outlet inside the vehicle here. Trailer brake controller has been moved to the center. So a lot more, so a lot better access versus where it was, which was right here on the other side of the steering wheel. Absolutely, yeah, it used to be up over here. So, um, you know, technology and connectivity is a big deal today. Uh, everybody wants to be able to connect to their vehicle. One of the uh, one of the really slick things with this one now is you have 4G LTE Wi-Fi built into the truck. Uh, new infotainment system, uh, which combines the Wi-Fi hotspot. Now you have a new trailering mode in this uh, in this system, so you can uh, it will actually allow you to test your trailer brakes, test your lights, turn signals. I have uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so now if you if you plug your uh, your phone into one of the USB ports here. You can then project your applications right up onto the screen. So if you want to use your, uh, if you prefer your nav system that's in your phone, um, Google Maps or the Apple mapping, you bring that right up here and you don't have to pay for built-in navigation to the truck. Um, if you notice here we have the power switch where you can turn on and off that 120 outlet in the bed. Now this is just a 1LT truck, but it still has heated seats, has a heated steering wheel. Up here, you've got power sliding rear window. can program your garage doors uh, to, to be open from inside the vehicle here. So now we have selectable drive mode. If you uh, if you turn the turn the selector one way, you can, have, you can go into trailering mode, which will actually change the, the shift points on the transmission and also raise the shift pressure. And then this one, being an RST, has a sport mode. Turn it this direction, that will also uh, alter those shift points a little bit, make it quite a bit sportier feeling. You have your four wheel drive, you can switch uh, from auto, two high to four high. If you put it in four high, it has a terrain mode. There we are in four high, put it in train mode. So now we'll actually monitor the four wheel drive and aid in traction. Down here we have your cab lights, which um, now this one actually has full perimeter lighting. So if you turn these on, there's actually lights underneath each of the mirrors that will light up next to the vehicle, then inside the box and on the back of the cab. So if you're, if you're loading something at night, you have great view all the way around the vehicle here. Okay, so we do have these trucks out here, guys. Uh, because they're, you know this is a, I know this is a 2500 HD, but to be honest with you, this is a huge competitor right now because we have the older trucks right here, and you know later on in the video I will show you guys the model before this one right here so you can get a good comparison. We'll just do the same color lineup right there. But the reason why I have the Duramaxes out here as well is for you guys that are like I don't need a diesel to haul, but. You know, I still I want the lighter vehicle, but I still want to be able to pull and still get the best economy. We're gonna come on over here and we're gonna talk about this new rear end right here that the that GM put under there. All right. So this truck actually has the max trailering package on it, which gets you the 9.76 rear differential. It's actually the same size as what's in the three-quarter ton truck, allowing this to pull 11,400 pounds. Wow. So to compare that to my old uh, 2002 here, towing capacity on my 2002 is 12,000 pounds. So not much of a difference, huh? Not much of a difference at all. So what, what that, the advantage of that being, you can lease a half ton truck, you can pull what you need to pull, you can still get decent fuel economy when you're driving and not pulling your trailer. And you don't have to step up to a $60,000 2500. That's correct. And that's, that was the kind of the point that I was driving home there, guys. I'll you look you. like a kid on Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, uh, it's almost an honor, I think, really, to do this. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds really good. So, guys, we're going to talk about this engine right here. All right, here it is. So the previous generation of 5.3 liter engine had active fuel management. Ran about 355 horsepower. This one they've updated it to what they call now dynamic fuel management. It is also 355 horse, 385 pound foot of torque. The dynamic fuel management has the ability to go through 17 different firing patterns and run on as little as two cylinders. And the really cool thing about what Mike just said, and that's that's a big topic that what we want to hit on is the dynamic fuel management, guys. It can drop down to two cylinders. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it could drop down to one, right? It is only two. It's, it's two? It's only two, yep. Okay. The beauty of that being that you can have the power when you need it, 
and when you don't, you get the fuel economy. So that is one of the reasons, top or best in class fuel economy for a truck that can pull 11,000 pounds. Right, and then the the previous version, it was the V4 to V8, Correct. so. Previously, it would only deactivate the four center cylinders, and it did that through an oil, uh, oil passages and, and collapsible lifters. All right, guys, so we're, uh, we're gonna go ahead and park the Duramaxes right now. We're gonna go ahead and get out of this location. Then I'm gonna take you to the 2018 half ton Chevrolet Silverado black. We're gonna line both trucks up so you can see the differences. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this thing on a test drive as well. All right, we're back at the lot here. Mike's doing his car salesman stuff. He's on the phone, he's already busy. Okay, now that we have them both lined up, you guys can see a good comparison view. Now we did decide to make it a little even. We didn't pull out like the red line edition or anything like that. We wanted to keep it simple for integrity purposes, but Mike, this is a crew cab, correct? So, yep, this is a Z71 crew cab 2018. Previous body style, of course. Um, and like you said, very similar uh, package wise. A couple things to note though, between this and the other. When we, when we look inside the 19, you'll notice that the floor is almost completely flat. And you have some additional storage under the seat in the, in the 19. So on the 2019, if you look here in the back, back seat still folds up out of the way, but you got an almost completely flat load surface in the back. You got some extra storage back here. Another kind of neat feature I haven't seen previously is storage inside the backs of the seats. Wow. Fancy. A different there. So the other things you'll notice uh, about Two and a half inches more leg room. You get something my size back here, you can actually be comfortable. How tall are you? I am six foot three. Okay, so you're pretty tall. So, and then uh, you got another about inch and a half of head, headroom space in the truck also. So part of that do, is due to the lower load, lower floor. Something else to mention here is the step-in height. So even though the truck overall is taller, you have more head space, you still have the same ground clearance, but by reducing the uh, the thickness of basically the floor and the frame sections, you have a lower step in height. So you probably will not need steps to get in this truck where you did in the previous truck. Okay, so there's that good comparison, guys. You guys let me know in the comments what you think, good, bad, or indifferent. I'd like to know. Just go ahead and fill up that comment section right there. What do you think about the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado versus the 2018? Pretty cool. We're taking on its first test drive. Since we're go since we're going out, this is the RST. We're gonna have to switch this right here to the sport mode just to see how she uh, it takes. See off. how she shifts. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm riding on a cloud. This is this is impressive. Something to notice too. Uh, with the windows down here, you're getting a lot of noise. I'm sure, but take a notice how quiet this thing is once we close it all up. Oh yeah, definitely. Great deal of work have gone into quieting down the vehicle. Um, laminate glass in the side windows. There's actually a laminate floor pan in the firewall. So it's actually a layer of steel, layer of plastic, and another layer of steel. Um, extra Dynamat style floor uh, sound deadening materials. Um, all the way down to some of the air spats you see on the outside of the vehicle to reduce the amount of air pressure hitting the back tires and making the road noise. I think they've done a fantastic job on yeah, they did. winding this truck down. In the previous years, I know we had a lot of issues with the wind noise, especially with these door seals right here. Yep, so that's something to mention here. Triple door seals on this truck. It really quiets down that. You're getting almost no air leakage through this one. In uh, the double cab feature, the double cab truck that we'll do later, uh, you'll notice it has the actual door hinges and, uh, and the doors open the right way now. That started in 2014. That was one of the major air leak issues we had in the previous generations of trucks, was uh, that third door opening the wrong way. Right. So we're on my favorite uh, test drive loop here, which gives you some good uh, good look at what the Michigan roads look like around here. Lots of seams and bumps and twists. Truck handles are quite well. It really does. I've been on this road many times, and the way the crown of the road dips down like that, you really gotta hug the road to, to stay straight, so that's, yeah, it feels really good in here. It really does. Very comfortable. So this is my first drive in this truck too. I uh, typically don't like the when they first come out. I know it takes me a while. I'm not an early adopter. I tell you, I'm in love with this truck already. Yeah, it's nice. Wow, she's got some. 
get up, huh? Man. Don't put a grenade on your face on it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's quite powerful. Pretty amazing, too, is how well it corners. Yeah, we're cornering, like, really well here. Like a car. So. 45 mile an hour cor cornering right there, I noticed. <laughs> uh, it said 25. Oh, is it 25? That was about 50. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that, that goes back. Now that, that's not actually a very new thing, but it's something that's, that's pretty impressive in the Silverado is coil over suspension in the front. Makes it like, uh, like we would have had in uh, race cars a few years ago. And it's aided to a great deal better, more stable, flatter cornering ability in the truck. Well, well, we got a, we got a chance to splatter some bugs with this thing, spot a little mud on it. What do you think? I'm really impressed with it. I, I love the truck, I love the design, I love what GM has done as far as bringing some new features to the vehicle. Uh, but, you know, overall guys, I really appreciate you guys sticking in there with me. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And if this is your first time stopping into the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Check out Mike Love. Uh, again, I'll leave his links in the description as far as if you guys are interested in purchasing a vehicle here in the greater Michigan area, Owasso, Flint, Lansing. He's basically centralized in the middle of the mitten. But guys, I appreciate your time. You have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.